listeners. Today for math, we are going to be talking about addition and how we can draw pictures to help solve addition problems. So remember that when we add, we take two groups and we put them together to find out how many in all. So if I am looking at my workbook page, 186, there's an equation up here that looks like this. One plus three equals, and then there's an empty box. It's my job to figure out what one plus three is equal to. So I need to figure out what number goes here. I can use a blank sheet of paper or draw right in my book to help me. Let me show you using this whiteboard. Here I have one. I'm going to draw one circle. So here's one circle plus, now here's the number three. So I need to draw three circles. One, two, three. Now I can figure out how many there are all together by counting them. One, two, three, four. Or if I was labeling my numbers, I might write one, two, three, four. So I know that all together now there are Four. Let's do another one. Another problem is six plus two equals blank. We have to find out what six plus two is equal to or the same as. So again, I'm going to draw a picture to help me. Here's the number six. I can really draw six of anything. Up here, I chose to draw circles. This time, I might draw triangles. I might want to check to make sure I have the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need two more over here. One, two. Now that I have my picture drawn, I need to find out how many I have all together or the total amount. I can count this lots of different ways. I already have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus two equals eight. Now some of you might have said, oh I know, here is six, seven, eight. And you might have counted on. That's okay too. Remember that when you get to a page with all of these equations on it, you can draw a picture to help you solve the equations. 